I realized I made a mistake. I need to move the forehead and my cheek further out. Someone said, if you see a mistake, it's best to fix it right then and there. that like button.
I should have cleaned my brush before putting down this next stroke. I'm using deeper darks and a slightly smaller brush to redraw and begin to define the features more clearly. It's almost like a 3D program that renders everything once very crudely and then it goes through again with a little more detail, a little more detail until the finish comes out. I'm looking a little crazy. My eyeballs are looking a bit like Thor or Storm from the X-Men. find it difficult painting glasses. Sometimes your brain thinks of it as just an outline or a symbol. It thinks of it not as it sees it, not as it really is, but what you think it is. 
A book that's good on that subject is Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. It has many exercises to help you train yourself to realize what you actually see and not what you think you see. This is one of the benefits of art, to begin to perceive the world as it is, not as you think it is. As with anything that you're going to do repetitively, it's good to keep your tools organized. I find it helpful to have my paints laid out the same way each time, and to have a certain order to where I put my brushes. It's hard enough painting as it is, without having to go on a search and rescue mission for one of your paints.
there really is no quote unquote flesh color. The color depends on the light and the skin. It's about the relationship between the lights and the darks, how it reflects the colors around it. The same skin under different lighting conditions can be totally different colors. Like, comment, and subscribe.